So the vision of the Robinson Research Institute is to conduct research of excellent quality that really informs how to improve the lives of families and children in Australia and around the world. I'm Professor Sarah Robertson and I'm Director of the Robinson Research Institute at the University of Adelaide. So the Robinson Research Institute is 45 research groups. We do everything from basic science right from the cell biology and the genetics through clinical science, population health and social science. And we're 350 people altogether. Around half of those people are students. So we have honours students, we have master's students, PhD students, even undergraduate student placements. So the student contribution to the research we do is really important. So the Institute has a long history of firsts. It was one of the first places in the world to establish the processes for freezing sperm. So we had the first frozen sperm bank here in Adelaide in the 1970s. We then undertook really important advances in treatment of IVF, including the first intracytoplasmic sperm injection and some of the first pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, so screening embryos for genetic disorders. We have four research themes and it really starts with conception and development of the embryo. Then we have a theme about pregnancy and birth. The third theme is the early origins of health, focusing on pregnancy and the events of conception. And the fourth theme is about the health of children and adolescents. So the Robinson Research Institute is really interested in working with the community to build our research program. We have lots of clinical studies, clinical trials underway, and increasingly we're actually working with community groups, NGOs and other organisations to develop community-led and community-driven research. And this means that through our research capability, we can address research questions that the community really cares about and deliver answers that really improve the health of our families and uh, the health of our community and the next generation more broadly.